In this video, I'll explain what gray listing is in Zemes. Gray listing is one method of fighting against spam messages. If this option is enabled, Zemes will reject every incoming message the first time an email is encountered from a particular IP address. A valid email server should always try to resend the rejected message. To enable gray listing, go to the admin console, hover your mouse over server configuration, click on SMTP configuration, then go to the advanced tab, and then check gray listing. Using gray listing has advantages as well as disadvantages. This method helps prevent malicious emails because many spammers do not try to resend a junk message, while legitimate email servers will most likely try to resend an undeliverable message. Let's talk about the disadvantages for gray listing. Gray listing was created when spammers used to send many emails and did not care who received the message. However, nowadays, spammers hijack legitimate email servers and use them to send malicious messages. These servers will always try to resend the message, making gray listing ineffective. Additionally, gray listing has a few side effects. There will always be a message delay because the first email will be rejected by gray listing. The sender's email server will need to resend the message again, which can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. In rare cases, messages won't be delivered to your server at all. This can happen if the sender's email server is old and treats the first reject email as a permanent failure. Because of this, the message will never get delivered to your Zemes. Large companies, such as Microsoft, use multiple email servers to handle their outbound messages. Because of this, retry attempts on their end can be made from different IP addresses. Since it comes from a different IP address, Zemes will reject this message as well, which will increase the email delay even further. There are some features in Zemes that allow you to mitigate these disadvantages. For example, you can whitelist certain domains and IP addresses for getting rejected. There is also an option to exclude servers that are hosted in Office 365. Keep in mind of these advantages and disadvantages if you want to enable gray listing. 